Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and today I'm going to answer the question for you, how to make seafood ragu and curry with apples and some vegetables served in a volivant or a patty shell. Now here we have the patty shell that I have a video for you to go to and it says how to make a patty shell. Uh, and we're going to start by popping this in the oven. We're going to make this whole dish in real time starting now, okay? I'm going to pop this in the oven. Now, this ragu, that, again, you can make this a small version as an appetizer or a large version as a main dish. You can change the seafood, change the vegetables. The base thing here is the curry sauce, which I made a video for you. It's a nice supplementary sauce, an apple curry cream and uh, how to make the pastry shell. All of the other components you could change if you want to make it your own way. So here's what I've got. I've got a hot pan back here. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in it. And I'm going to put my sauteed mushrooms in there. I got some nice chunks of mushrooms there. We're going to have bay scallops, escargots, some shrimp, some mussels that I just steamed a couple of minutes ago, and some fresh sliced blanched asparagus and some tomato conca sake. And I'm going to make some julienne apple for you to show you a way that you can garnish this. Okay, these mushrooms aren't going to take that much to cook. I'm going to add the escargos, which is optional. If you're a squeamish about eating snails, don't include them. But I happen to have some on hand, so I thought I'd throw them in. So, shrimps. I got about four little shrimps, half a cup of bay scallops, some escargos. That goes in there. And a little bit of this tomato concasse is going to go in there. And we're going to cook the seafood in the curry sauce. We're going to add about a cup of the curry sauce. It's coming to a simmer quickly because the pan's nice and hot. Those seafoods that I put in here, first of all, the escargots are already cooked. The size of those base scallops and shrimp, shrimp are not requiring very much cooking. Then I'm going to throw the asparagus in there. I got about three spears of medium-sized asparagus I'm throwing in there. Let's just kind of push that off to the side for a second. Now we're going to quickly make some julienne apple for garnish, which is an option. Now you can put slices of apple in there if you want, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how to do this. Cut this apple into sixths. I leave the skin on because I want you to see the apple too. Especially the green from the Granny Smith, which I love. I don't know where I'm going to put this at on the plate, but it's going to make it on that plate somehow. Let's get that plate up here. And let's just squeeze just for fun. We'll squeeze a little bit of lemon on this apple. It's a little more flavor, plus it'll keep it from turning brown a little bit. Just hold that over there for a minute. Moving the seafood back over. It's almost done. Let me throw the mussels in there real quick. Get them hot. This looks good. Let's get the pastry out. And let's shut that oven off. Now, on the patty shell, you'll notice that it puffed up. At this point, I'm going to push this down to make a larger cavity inside the patty shell, okay? Now we're going to begin putting this food on this plate. How about if we start with let's get them we're gonna put the mussels all the way around the sides. Now if you don't have if you don't put mussels on the shell in here, then you don't need mussels on a shell. If I was serving this and setting this up as an appetizer right now, which I'm not, I'm kind of setting this up as a main dish. 
I wouldn't have muscles in the shell. I'd probably have them out of the shell if I was using them at all. Of course, you can put lobster, calamari, whatever, whatever your fancy is, okay? So first we're going to get most of the food and put it inside the shell. So we have a nice pile inside. Then we'll put some on the outside. And we're saving some of the sauce. This looks like more food than it is actually. But this is a nice dinner right here. Okay, so let's take the balance of this and stick it up on top. Now, let's put the sauce here. That looks good. Now, what are we going to do with this? Let's take, I'll tell you what, I don't like the size of that apple. So let's take this julienne and make it even smaller by cutting it in half. Okay, so let's put a little bit here. Let's take these last couple pieces of tomato concasse that are here, put them around. And let's just put a little bit more apple right there. There you go. Now, here's your top of your volavant patty shell, like so. And we'll put a little bit of chopped parsley on here. And we'll put a little bit of olive oil just for fun. And I think you got it right there. There we go. Here is a curry seafood a la minute ragu served in a patty shell with fresh asparagus, tomato concasse, and mushrooms. This is a moderately sophisticated dish, but you'll notice in real time it didn't take that long to put it together. I had the curry sauce done. I had the pastry done. And other than that, oh, and, the, and the tomato concasse. But other than that, which is a lot, the point is, is that the name of the game when you're making dishes like this is to set it all up like that because you can make that dinner in seven, six, seven minutes. There you have it. Patty shell slash volavant with curried seafood ragu. Enjoy this if you get a chance to because we're going to eat this as soon as that camera gets shut off.